Now, when when it does get to runtime, I think you're going to basically see a, a four layer model, and this is how we're thinking about this at VoiceFlow is. Um, you're going to have these large language models, which uh, everyone's going to have access to. It's going to be OpenAI. It'll be a cohere. It'll be, you know, there's a whole bunch of them, uh, uh, you know, and cer certainly sort of the big vendors. Think about that as like the knowledge of the world, right? So like, let's imagine you're training like a Starbucks barista. Um, the benefit of hiring a human is they just come with knowledge of the world. And that's what's been missing in conversational AI. And it's what allows for really fluid conversations because you might go off the beaten path, but because I'm a human and I, you know, I have life experience, I can actually take that conversation and apply it to my business outcome, right? That's what's been missing in conversational AI. And so that's really exciting. So, but the problem is if you just have a large language model, it doesn't know how to work with your business per se. And so that's where you're going to start to see language models trained on your knowledge base. That's kind of layer two. So most companies, in, in our opinion, are going to have a large language model that is the knowledge of the world and then the knowledge of your company, right? That's sort of a layer on top. Those two then need to pair with a dialogue manager, which is like, okay, well, great. You know how to work at Starbucks. You have knowledge of the world to be able to have a conversation. What's what, like, what's your goal, right? Because these like these AIs are not conscious. And so you ultimately do need to have like a level of prompt engineering and a level of like, what is the actual business objective? Uh, that's great. You have those three. And then lastly is over time, you start to learn your customer's preferences. You know, if you're a Starbucks priest, the same customer comes in week after week, you start to learn their order. You start to uh, start specialize. So um, that's the framework that we're thinking about at VoiceFlow when it comes to large language models. You've got four layers, large, you know, large language model that'd be fairly open, one that's trained to your company's specific knowledge base, uh, one that's trained to the customer, and one that's ultimately giving the objectives.